Exciting times are ahead in the world of artificial intelligence. OpenAI just unveiled its latest breakthrough, the ChatGPT 4.0. Now, let's imagine a tool that's twice as fast and significantly more powerful than its predecessor, ChatGPT 4. And here's the best part, the cost. It's completely free. Now previously, GPT 4 came with a $20 per month subscription, but now everyone can enjoy the full suite of advanced features at no cost. With ChatGPT 4.0, you can browse images and ask questions about them using vision. You can access real-time data through browse and even have the model remember personalized facts through its memory feature. Plus, it can analyze complex data, making tasks like interpreting Excel spreadsheets a breeze. Now join us as we dive into the incredible capabilities of ChatGPT 4.0 in this new release and explore how this revolutionary tool can transform the way we interact with technology. Many exciting features are coming with the 4.0 release in the next couple of weeks, but first, let's explore what the new features of GPT 4.0 can do. The most impressive part of the presentation was the demo, where they showcased a variety of capabilities, including answering diverse questions, solving math problems, and reading bedtime stories. The intelligence and responses were similar to the current GPT-4, which is likely why they renamed it 4.0 instead of GPT-5. Now, interestingly, the most significant updates in 4.0 are related to the voice feature. The new model even managed to achieve incredibly quick response in only 232 milliseconds and an average of around 320 milliseconds for GPT-4. That's roughly the same as the typical response time in a normal conversation. Now, this means that talking to these tools can feel smoother, even more human-like, and now you can jump in with your thoughts with without having to wait for GPT to finish processing, just like in a normal conversation, now with interruptive conversation. The company has even added a note on their website clarifying that all videos play at normal speed, addressing previous concerns about lag. And it's a significant leap forward, showcasing a truly remarkable capability and how quickly the system can respond. While the speed is a big factor and highlight, the second thing that really stands out is the emotion in the voice of GPT-4.0. It's something you might've already noticed. Now, this feature makes the conversation feel more genuine and more relatable, as if you're talking to a real person rather than just a machine. It adds a new layer of interaction that makes these tools even more engaging. Now, it looks like OpenAI has really amped up the expressiveness and energy levels of this assistant, which has its pros and cons. On the one hand, it can feel like you're chatting with a super energetic friend who's had too much coffee in this demo. Always high-spirited, which might be a bit too much for people who prefer a more straightforward assistant. It would be great to see an option to customize the voice in the future. That would definitely be a smart addition. Now on the flip side, you do have some flexibility already. For example, in the demo, they showed that you can ask the assistant to change its tone. They had it read a bedtime story with extra drama or even switch to a robotic voice. This shows that there's more potential to tailor the interaction a little bit more to your preference which is a promising direction. OpenAI has introduced a pretty cool new feature that's like giving the AI the ability to see. You can now take your camera, point it at an object or a piece of paper and ask questions about it in real time. This is still in beta testing, but it's like giving AI a set of eyes, which opens up new world of interactions. But that's not all. They've also launched a new desktop app that packs in a lot of functionalities. You can use it for typing out questions, speaking to it, or uploading images. An additional feature is screen sharing, and this means you can share whatever it is that you're working on on your screen with the AI and ask it to help you out with whatever you're viewing. For instance, during the demo, they showed how it could analyze a graph right on your screen. This could be a game changer for productivity, especially for those who spend a lot of time on their computers. It could serve as a conversational assistant or a brainstorming partner, making it super easy to research or get through daily tasks. It's easy to imagine how many different ways that this could come in handy, whether you're working or studying on your computer. Now, just to clarify, the O in GPT-4.0 highlights how the model handles different types of inputs like text, speech, and now vision using a single neural network. Previously, models like GPT-3.5 and GPT-4 would convert spoken words into text before processing them. And this method loses a lot of nuances such as emotion and tone, much like the difference between texting and calling someone. Now, the Omni model integrates these various inputs more holistically in its responses. And so that's the latest from OpenAI. 
definitely some cutting edge developments. I'm eager to see how this stacks up against Google's release of Gemini 1.5. Don't miss out on any more action. Hit that like and subscribe button to stay updated with all of our latest videos. Stay tuned for more and we'll see you on the next video.